That's a great question. Really, anybody who has lost a tooth that they want to replace. Um, single tooth implants are very popular uh, and really where implants got the best stronghold in my opinion is underneath the lower denture. It really improves the performance of a lower denture if you can place two implants underneath that denture to hold it down. I mean, just imagine uh, wearing something that moves around in your mouth when you eat or just not having uh, a tooth in a space or three or four teeth in a space and you just can't chew what you want to chew. Uh, I love to eat, so it would definitely affect my quality of life as well as other applications for aesthetics and smiling. Um, being able to replace a tooth that naturally looks like it's coming out of the gum tissue can have a huge impact. It is a surgery, and so like any surgery, you're gonna have some discomfort afterwards, but using this technique and having being able to place that implant in that perfect location, a lot of times we can do something called a flapless surgery that allows you not to have to make an incision in the gum tissue, um, and so there aren't even any stitches when we finish. And uh, my patients have said multiple times, that they're amazed that the post-op discomfort is minimal, usually handled just with a couple ibuprofen for a couple of days. Yeah, absolutely, we always review patient's medical history for really any dental procedure uh, here at River Valley Smile Center. Um, we wanna know that we're keeping the patient safe and when we're implanting anything, we really wanna make sure that we've looked at the fine details there. Well, we want to make sure that everything is healthy. We want to make sure the gum tissue is healthy. They've had a recent cleaning. We've looked around the rest of the mouth. We make sure the occlusion is good, which is your bite. Um, and as we mentioned previously, overall health. We'll have the guided surgery kit. Um, we just recently purchased a 3D printer that's gonna allow us to print those uh, surgical guides in-house. Um, amongst other things, we'll be able to print right here in-house with using our digital scanner that we use. A typical implant surgery lasts about 45 minutes. Um, most of that procedure is prep. I would say the actual implant procedure using a guide lasts about five to 10 minutes. We have a, a lot of different tools and levels of sedation that we offer here at River Valley Smile Center. and We can make sure that, that you're very comfortable with the procedure. Uh, the most common types of dental implants are what we call endosteal implants. They are placed directly into the jawbone. They look like a small screw and then there's a screw channel within that screw that allows us to connect uh, a variety of different prosthetics to that implant. 